Hello, it's Monday, May the 1st. I'm John Evans, and you're on the Small Town Network. Uh, that's right, and I'm Scott Wilk, and you're watching Community News. Uh, we got a partner missing here, yeah. Howard, but he's going to, uh, he left a bit, he's feeling a little under the weather, and he's yeah. going to be back. Yeah, uh, so, so we'll be seeing Howard hopefully soon. A uh, big shout out to Howard. Uh, we miss you here. A uh, couple things, first of all, no school uh, news segment to this segment because they didn't have class today. Uh, and of course, they still got testing and stuff yeah. going on as well. Uh, but a couple things we wanted to mention to you. First of all, if you got a mother. And you should have one. <laughs> you really should <laughs> so but, far. Uh, don't forget the 14th is yep. Mother's Day. You still got time to get them something if you forgot. Yep. And Nick, nobody will ever know that you forgot. That's right. So Mother's Day, Mother's Day is coming up. Just thank us for reminding you. Yeah, and uh, and it was free. Yeah, free yeah. reminder. Oh, oh, absolutely. With a money back guarantee. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, if you are a local business, and it doesn't matter if you're in Crossville, Rockwood, Kingston, Harriman, any of the little towns around us, and if you uh, have been watching the show and you just wonder how you can get your information about your business or whatever you happen to do, on our program, hey, shoot us a message, watch the program at the end, we give you contact information, uh, just get in touch with us, and uh, we've got a couple open slots so we can fit you in. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Anything you can do to help, that's what we're gonna yeah. do. Yeah, and a thank you to all the groups that share us. Uh, we share this in over, gosh, almost, almost 40 groups uh, all around the area. So if you're with one of those groups, thank you for sharing. Uh, if you're in a group that we don't happen to see us in, hey, share us to that group. Uh, we would greatly appreciate that. Uh, always remember though, if you are seeing us in a group and we have a contest, please come back to the Small Town Network page, like and comment on that page. That'll get you included in the drawings. Yeah, we don't always see everything. If you comment on uh, somebody else's page, we don't always see that stuff. Uh, so make sure, like John said, Click the Small Town Network uh, name, that'll take you to our main page, and then do your comments there, or send us a message there, and don't forget to like and follow. Also, we are in HD on YouTube. Oh, unfortunately, yes we are. For those people that are glutton, and you know what, we have a few followers on there. Yeah. We uh, so there's some people out there that are glutton for some punishment. Maybe they don't see well anyway. That's good. That could be. Yeah. Maybe they're just listening. Yeah. <laughs> or, but uh, but yeah. So check us out on YouTube, uh, Small Town Network Live on YouTube, and uh, that would be awesome. But mm -hmm. uh, if you're just joining us, our show's consisted of things to do. We'll give you all the things to do locally uh, in this area this week, and then later in the show, we'll give you some upcoming stuff that comes on later in the week. We'll give you weather birthdays, and more. But first, our first segment is Things to Do, which is brought to you by Mr. John and Evans Financial. Yeah, Evans Financial, uh, just across the street from what's left of the gazebo in the park, and uh, there to help you with anything uh, investment related or insurance related, I can help you there. But uh, what I want to talk to you today about is we've got an open spot in our building. So on the corner of Rockwood Street and Front Street, We've got an empty spot for rent, so if you're out there thinking about starting a business, or if you know somebody who's wanting a place to either expand their business, want a better location, uh, hey, get a hold of me here at 865-354-1337. Uh, I'll take you in a spot, show it to you, and uh, hopefully we'll get some man in there that'll draw some people in have their own foot traffic and all the other businesses can benefit from it. Yeah, and maybe we'll just advertise their new business here. Yeah, So uh, we'll uh, welcome you to the neighborhood that way. So yeah, contact John and also contact John for all of your investments and insurance. Uh, we always say if you don't have a face that goes along with the person in charge of your investments or securities, maybe you should. Maybe you should. Yeah. And uh, stop in and see me at least. We'll have a cup of coffee and we'll tell a few stories. Yeah. First, as always, bluegrass jamming. And they're always bluegrass jamming over there at the Bradbury Community Club from 6 to 10 on Tuesdays. It costs you two bucks to get in, and they do have snacks and food available for purchase. Call Marie. But the good thing, that two bucks, if you're a picker, you can play for that two bucks as well. Yeah, very cool. So I'll contact Marie for more information. And we got one this time. Yes, uh, the Food Truck Wednesday is in downtown Harriman. They do that every Wednesday from 11 to 2. And this week is a hibachi food truck. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. So go check them out. 
uh, then here's our farmer's market. The spring farmer's market at the square and that's at Stonehenge, 100 Stonehenge Drive in Crossville. And remember that central time, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and uh, go get you some good, I'm, I think it's good local produce. Yeah, very awesome. And then as always, the Oasis program. Yep, the Oasis program every Wednesday and it's May the 3rd this week and it's kindergarten through eighth grade. You have crafts and games, story time, music and worship. And that's at 429 West Rockwood Street in Rockwood. Give me a call at 865-354-1674. And it's not the 4th of July, but it's Cinco de Mayo. It's Cinco de Mayo. And I couldn't figure out, I never really understood what that meant other than uh, margaritas of, and fifth of May. fajitas. Yeah. But, uh, An excuse to drink, yeah, yes. Yeah, but they, they're they celebrating the Mexican, uh, their, well, they defeated uh, France and gained their independence, I guess, there at the Battle of... Puebla during the Franco-Mexican War yeah. in 1862. Yeah, so uh, congratulations to uh, everybody there. And uh, for us Americans, we will go to the nearest Mexican restaurant and drink lots of margaritas Yes, on uh, Cinco de Mayo. So uh, have a safe uh, Cinco de Mayo. And then also this weekend. That, uh, now, I'm not going to say what that is, but E-T-C-H-A, if you're doing it, you know what it means. Exactly. And they're at Rome State Community <laughs> College at the Expo Center using both arenas, <laughs> indoor and out. Uh, and that's the 5th through the 7th, and that goes 8 a.m. to 8 to 5 p.m., rather. And do not call uh, Jeremiah Johnson. You call Frank Casey at this one yeah. at 731-514-0701. Yeah, and that's uh, Friday through Sunday there. And here's one uh, going on on Friday. On the same Cinco de Mayo, they are celebrating a tribute to Fleetwood Mac at the Princess Theater at 7 o'clock. And uh, so I guess it's a, a cover band for Fleetwood Mac. I yeah. don't see anybody there as tall as no. Fleetwood, but uh, no. I'm sure the music is just as good. Yeah. And uh, so go check them out. Yeah, Princess has always got good shows. And here's a cool one. Yeah, uh, on the 6th in uh, 1937, the Hindenburg explodes in New Jersey and <laughs> who does saw that it's coming? not surprising that it killed 35 it it's surprising that the rest of them survived yeah and uh, that one unlucky one dude on the, on the ground <laughs> we were talking about that you know he just either where, where's everybody going <laughs> where are you guys all going <laughs> and forgot to look up or he did look up and his feet are done yeah you just patting the ground and you can't get moving, no traction, and boom, it lands on it. Yeah. But it's, it's shocking. I mean, it's fascinating to me how brilliant it people was must have been right? to, to design that thing. And it flew and brought people over, and they're going, okay, you know, we're showing our air dominance. We can fly this over and bring people, or we can fly it over and bring bombs. But yeah, it's a bag of hydrogen. Yeah. <laughs> so it, you're. You're very vulnerable. That's like the equivalent of flying a gasoline air balloon yeah. over somebody. Yeah. It's like you know, having a big gun saying, be scared of me, and try to walk across a bear-infested creek with salmon in your shorts. Yeah, yeah. it didn't work out so no, good. No, no. But, but yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. a significant date, though, in history. Uh, and then, uh, speaking of May Day. May Day, that's uh, their but, celebration there. It's the Springs Festival on the 6th in downtown Harriman and uh, I guess they're having uh, vendors and all kind of stuff for people to do yeah. but uh, contact Martha there at her email address or we'll call her at 865-882-9414. Yeah and this one's cool uh, good to see Naramar Farms again. Yeah they're having a strawberry festival on the 6th and uh, that runs from 11 a.m. to 4 in Kingston 10 bucks to get into that and uh, they're having fun farm activities and they got goats. They do have goats. A uh, weird thing about that, to find the Naramar Farms event, you actually got to go to, when you go on Facebook to search, search for Naramar Farms pumpkin, pumpkin patch, and you'll find this on the pumpkin patch page. It's well, that's so confusing. But yeah. And the thing is, a lot of people, and they're going to make their own name for themselves, I'm sure, on the Strawberry Festival. But, you know, and we're have this later in the show but strawberry festival you think of dayton uh but yeah yeah that's coming up too yeah. uh, we'll tell you more about that but uh, but again go out and check out the naramar farms yeah. always good fun out there yeah it's a great place for the whole family here's one uh with yeah. a twist this yeah. week what's the twist one i'll tell you just okay you kingston that. lakeside farmers market this saturday 9 a.m to 11 a.m and somewhere between 9 and 11 there's a twist 
Well, and here's the twist. I told you about it. We did this during rehearsal, but Chalk Fest is oh, going on. Sometimes I don't pay attention. I know. Uh, and I, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the Chalk Fest is uh, also going on at the farmer's market, which is, you know, where they have those amazing, some of these, you know, kids can do it, but they got some crazy artists that can do some amazing stuff. Oh, that's stuff. one of those things I've been trying to get done downtown at like Thunder Road and, and uh, yeah. trying to get people to do, and I'm glad somebody finally pulled it off because yeah. I think that's a wonderful idea. If Make you go send us pictures, yeah, please do. That please would be do. cool. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that'd be cool down here. Yeah, it would. Uh, if we did festivals downtown. Yeah, so I don't can, know what we're going to. You're hardly. Oh, up in the air now. You're hardly able to anymore. Yeah, it's uh, the but, uh, atmosphere. You can in Chattanooga. Chattanooga's got their bacon festival, mm. and I've been to that. And you got bacon and festival together in the same phrase, mm. and uh, it's a no-brainer. You gotta yeah. go. And that's down there at 323 Camp Jordan Parkway in Eastridge, and it goes from 10 to 4. They got they do have that many vendors. They got tons of vendors. They're full up all the time. They got pet and zoos, pony rides, and. Now you can't, we've walked a bit to get there before, but cause it's packed, Oop. but the food is good and all the vendors are great. Mm. And, uh, it says like over 150 vendors. And they got them. Yeah, man, it's wow. packed. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how they organize that. I struggle with the little ones we have. Right, that's but, amazing. Um, uh, but hey, if you're going down there, if you're going all the way down to East Ridge anyway, go check out my mother-in-law's uh, little bakery. It's called Six Little Teacups Bakery and, and Sweets. And 58? On 58, yeah. So, so go down, cross the dam Yep. in Spring City and go down 58. Because nothing goes better with bacon than is honestly south of sweet. That? Uh, it's, I think, uh, it's uh, just north of East Ridge. Uh, it's okay, right. so it's down, yeah, I, I was saying if you come across the dam and hit it's, 58, yeah, it's, it's further south, south of that. Yeah. It's actually just yeah. north of East Ridge there. Oh, yeah, uh, definitely do that. Uh, if not right on the edge there, it's in, uh, is it Harrison or Hamilton? Ah, sh I get them all messed up, but... But go look up uh, Six Little Teacups Bakery. And say you heard about it on Small Town Network. Now, you're not going to get any discount, but just tell them that. Yeah, and, and you can go check out their Facebook page as well. In yeah. fact, I'll have to give her a little plug. I'll make her a sponsor one of these yeah. weeks. But while you're going out to get the bacon, and actually, I've had bacon-flavored donuts. And they're pretty good. Like, yeah. it doesn't sound right. But I have a bacon flavored a lot of things, except for the soda. Have you had the bacon soda? No. Oh, God. It has to be like pig grease in a... It, it's t well, it's terrible. Well, that wraps up our uh, <laughs> our stuff. But, uh, yeah, I can't imagine, par like, carbonated Yeah, yeah, pig. it's... Pig. Yeah, bacon-flavored soda. Oof. And I saw it, and I said, well, i got to get one of these. It was some candy store somewhere where we were... I think it may have been down hell in Georgia, and we, we go into the candy store, and Tom's getting candy, and I'm bacon flavored soda. Got to try it. And got it. Oh, it's terrible. Oof. Yeah, that doesn't sound Let good. me be the only person that suffered through that. Let me tell you, don't get one. Yeah. Um, but hey, that takes us to our local school news, which this week is brought to you by WVLT. Don't forget to go to WVLT's website, WVLT TV. Uh, dot com and uh, also download their apps wvlt news and a wvlt weather app. if you're planning an event you're planning to go to one of the things we told you about get to that app yeah. and find out what the weather's going to be and you and can check the traffic yeah you can program it to your area to your kid's school it'll tell you about anything going on at the school any sort of delays updates all that stuff even though school season is ending it still yeah. will tell you about traffic weather all of that there's a lot that happens it's amazing honestly you, you got to figure the app is on all day long and the web is on all day long where the channel, yeah. we got other shows we air. So it's, you can always find news. They do different news. And if you news. post a story, it automatically updates over there too. They it? always put our yeah. stories on the web. And honestly, you'll see a lot more stuff on the web because they can go live all the time. So it's really wild. So check it out. Uh, you won't want to miss it. But there we go. Uh, Really, the significant day now is May 19th. It's the end of the second semester. Man, it's, it, end of school. I can't believe it. I mean, it feels like we just did this. Uh, in fact, we just set up. This was our first year that we were a part of their school uh, curriculum. And uh, I can't believe the whole year is over. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to uh, Miss Clements uh, earlier today. Our last Rockwood student reporter segment is next week. Uh, and then they're gone. They're... 
they're everywhere. Some of them are graduating, some of them are moving on. But we're already making plans for next season, uh, next year. So uh, we'll see what that has coming. And uh, yeah, so and again, if your school wants to do something like this, hey, just contact us. We would love to uh, put you guys on the program too. Here is what's left uh, the rest of the year's lunch menu right there. Uh, you had corn dog nuggets today, chicken drumstick, pulled pork barbecue on Tuesday, honey barbecued smackers and a pizza sub roll on Wednesday. Uh, chicken sliders on Thursday and uh, Cinco de Mayo. It's not pizza. It's uh, Mexican pizza. So that's uh, cool on Friday uh, And again, no local school news reporter But if you want to get your scoop from Rockwood High School, you can still do that on Spotify Look up the Tiger Talk podcast uh, that's the Rockwood High School's podcast, and it's the same kids, the same kids that do the yearbook, our program, and the podcast. They're all there, and uh, look for them on that. But we appreciate Mrs. Clements. Got to thank everybody at Rockwood High School. What a great year we had with them. And I talked to Mrs. Clements today, and we were talking about how the students got so much better from their first couple to they the, did to the, 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 all of them across they the board. They get more comfortable in there. I mean, uh, they're so, like pros. Yeah, yeah, so good. So uh, really cool to see them uh, develop here on the program. And again, give them a shout out. Tell them they did a great job if you're watching the program. But hey, they still got some sports going on. And they're both tomorrow th for this week. And we have uh, baseball. We're home with Harriman. And softball, we're away at Sunbrook. Yeah, and testing continues. All week. Yeah, all week again, all day. So, uh, but here it is. Here's next week, the graduating week activities. Uh, just still, it, I don't know. It's just hard to, to swallow that it's all over already. But I'm sure those kids are ready for it. But, uh, but there's your graduating week activities. Also, there's a golf uh, benefit that all the proceeds go to RHA's football. Uh, so go check that out. Yeah, yeah, I first saw that graphic and I was afraid they were having another alumni football game. We had one. God, that was stupid. Uh, I played in it. It was back in the mid '80s, late '80s, and it was a stupid thing to do. Ended up in a big fight. And, uh, I'm glad that it's no, it wasn't. Like, some of the kids never grew up. Apparently, I guess. Oh God, I, it's one of those things. I, if they had one, I might be. But was that like a rivalry play. team? Was that? No, no, not really. So it wasn't even that. It no. Just, wow. No. Yeah. It, it ended in a big fight. Yeah, it wasn't a great idea. But uh, yeah. But a anyway, it was a lot of fun though. That brings um, us to uh, weather. Come to my office. I'll tell you some stories about it. Yeah, and have some coffee. Yeah. Uh, across from what used to be the park. The park yeah. What's yeah. left of it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, that brings us to weather, which is brought to you by Shape Up, our good friends, uh, Ken and Mary March. Yep. Uh, they're over there in the Shape Up Plaza. We like to say. Yeah. And some people uh, associate with Tractor Supply and Big Lots, but to get over there, they've got. A uh, great space for aerobics. They get free weights and all kind of cardio equipment and a uh, good little track inside to walk on, too. And uh, they want you there at their classes. Yeah. And uh, Here's their this is their desk hours. Now, we always talk about if you're uh, an older person, you're on a Medicare supplement or actually on some of the marketplace plans for younger folks, go, these are the desk hours. Go talk to them. They can set you up so all or part of your dues can be paid by your health plan. Yeah, and you look at this. There's here's some of their prices, and it's yeah. great. Yeah, just the gym's only thirty five bucks a month. Now, if you want to get the sauna and the tanning and the gym, it's sixty five. But there's a lot of ways you can match that up, whatever fits your budget and whatever fits your needs, and uh, they can hook you up. Yeah, and then. Uh, Again, contact them. It shows they got new members have key cards and signups and all that stuff. Uh, and they always run little specials and stuff. So just yeah. contact them. Tell them you saw it here on Small Town Network. And don't forget, they got tanning. They do have tanning. Yeah. And uh, get out there and get your tanning in before you get out and get sunburned. Yeah. So again, contact them at 466-3966 and tell them that you heard about it here. Yeah, please do. Uh, again, got to thank WVLT Channel 8 and especially Heather Haley, Ben Cathy, and all of the crew at First Alert Channel 8 Weather. Uh, here is your upcoming eight-day forecast and uh, looks like, again, the weekend is where the rain keeps falling. 
but uh, looks like we're 60s and 70s getting warm there at the, the beginning of next week. God, can you believe how cold it was the end of the week? It, it was, was cool, cool today. today. Yeah, yeah, it was very cool. I couldn't believe it. Uh, went and did... Uh, Keep going back and forth for turning the, the air conditioning on during the day and then you forget to turn it off and you wake up in the middle of the night you're cold and you turn the heat on and then you get home and you're hot yeah so it's here's hot, a, hot time. a live look at wvlt's website again it's a wvlt.tv uh but i'll make it big for you here but hey we got to zoom out uh, actually bowling green they're the culprit it looks like they're starting yeah. if you look all the it, the, yep. the clouds tail off from bowling green right there yep. uh but but actually if we zoom out it's a big mess up there yeah. kind of circling ohio there so uh but uh, again, have to thank uh, WVLT, Channel 8, and again, Heather Haley and the weather crew. And once again, check out their apps for yeah. news and weather. Yeah, go check that out. Uh, that brings us to birthdays. And if uh, you had a birthday today, you had a birthday with these folks. Yeah, you share a birthday with Arthur Wellesley, and that is the uh, Duke of Wellington that, that defeated uh, Napoleon several times, actually, uh, ran him out of... Spain and Portugal and up in back into France and then beat him at the Battle of Waterloo wow. and Calamity Jane, yeah. a famous uh, Western character. But that includes Peter Kiko, Emma Chambers, and Bill Smith. Yeah, and my friend uh, Deandra Raidmacher. So uh, then here's your Tuesday birthdays. Tuesday birthdays, you share one with the Red Baron, also known as Manfred von Richthofen <laughs> and the Scourge of Snoopy. Yes. And uh, also The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. And the people that share one with him is Stephanie Berry. Got to talk about the Dwayne The Rock Johnson there for a second. Oh, I'll go back. Uh, but I went to Memphis, you know, as you know, this yeah. past week and went to Graceland and, and saw that. And uh, they have this whole new exhibit that they're building. And it's kind of, it's, it's there, but they're, they're just developing it. You can tell it's going to be amazing when they get done. But they have all these different music and show people that kind of attributed some of their work to Elvis. It's over there. It's not on the it's side across of the, road. the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. We went in there. That's really nice. And uh, they have like Carrie Underwood had this outfit inspired by Elvis, and all these other outfits were inspired. Well, they had a Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Elvis like the full jumpsuit and it that thing was huge and I can't <laughs> imagine what it weighed with all the stuff on it but uh, but I saw that it made me think uh, about he's that. a big dude but uh, yeah and then uh, you did you say Stephanie I Bates? said Stephanie and Bates. then my buddy Justin Manning uh, out in Pigeon Forge he's having a birthday as well and then here's I think Wednesday Wednesday Bing Crosby and then the hardest working man in show wow. is James Brown oh. uh, and that includes Ron Cook over there at the Bushel in the pack oh. yeah uh, happy birthday to Mr. Roland. Yeah. And uh, this, I think, is Thursday. Thursday. You share a birthday with Audrey Hepburn, and that includes the. Well, I got mixed up there. Tommy is not one of the. Our, well, Tommy's famous in his own circles there. But Tommy, uh, Tommy Fuller, and then you. Yeah, buddy. that's my buddy Ben Kathy. He's a meteorologist at WVLT. Yeah. Uh, and, and Craig Wolf. Craig Wolf. Yeah, and that's your uh, Thursday birthdays. Here's Friday. Friday. These people, look who all they share a birthday with. Karl Marx. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and Tammy Wynette, yeah. and Henry Cavill as Superman that they're replacing, and we were saying, I yeah. can't believe they're going to replace that dude as Superman. Uh, yeah, uh, but you, har you hardly got any DC characters what's watching anyway. I know. And uh, then they go replace Superman. There's been like five Spider-Mans. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's getting hard to follow. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and then, uh, let's see. But uh, cousin of mine, Bobby Holcomb. Good old Dirty Bob and uh, Cindy Helton and Dean Willis. Yeah, and then coming up Saturday birthdays. Saturday birthdays is Willie Mays and George Clooney. And that includes Thomas Hamlet. And my friend uh, Trofina Denton. She's a performer out there at Country Tonight. Go see her. Tell her happy birthday. Alina, Alina Covington and Libby Hushka. And that brings us to our Sunday birthdays. The Sunday birthdays, and I don't want to disappoint you folks. I didn't find anybody of note to. You may think of somebody that yeah. is famous Comment on your birthday, in there. but yeah, chime in. We we'll, won't miss it next year. But uh, that includes Susan Locke, 
Linda Raby and Regina Smith. Yeah, and my buddy Kevin Eisenberg. But uh, that wraps up birthdays for this week. And if you have a birthday or something like that coming and up. I do want to mention, though, you know, Scott was off last week. We didn't have a show. And, and I suspect that he just didn't want somebody sharing photos of him <laughs> on the birthday page. So if you've got some, don't send them to him. Send them directly to me. Oh. And we'll see if we can get those shared. Now, he may not... I can't. I just hope Bill Anderson's show. not watching this week because he's got more blackmail photos on me. Hey, Bill, send them to Gosh, me. and uh, I'll post them somewhere where they're visible. <laughs> somewhere. You like how I did that? I just kind of like no show uh, yeah. this week. Oh, and I figured it out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but I had a great birthday. And yeah, went out to Memphis. It was so cool. I really packed in so much into two days. Uh, went and saw. Uh, Gosh, Graceland, saw the zoo, which was a- Sun Studios. Was huge. Went to Sun Studios twice, actually, because I went the first time and then decided to do the tour. Did you see the Goat Island at the zoo? Yes. You know what it was when I was there? No. When we were out there when I was a kid, it was a monkey island. Really? Yeah, and there was a tree on the Goat Island. Yeah. And the tree grew, and they didn't pay any attention to it, and it grew so much that the monkeys could climb the tree and jump across the moat. Oh my gosh. And they were getting out in the neighborhood and breaking in homes. And, oh yeah. my gosh. And they'd come back in the zoo the next morning and there'd be like tricycles in the moat. You know, they would carry all this stuff back and come back and sit in the tree like, I don't know how it got there. We were watching the uh, meerkats. Yeah. And they have them in this little thing like that. Yeah. And it was like the whole time all they kept looking was like they were, the whole time they were just looking for how to get out. Yeah. Uh, but went and saw... Uh, um, I'm looking at my phone to because I'm, I'm the name is escaping me. But uh, where Martin Luther King got shot, the oh yeah, we we did the, that the hotel. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the hotel? Is what is, I'm. Tr- oh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm blanking. Um, I went to uh, where it's, it's one of those things, and you know it's an important thing, and you but it doesn't hit you till you're there. Well, what's stupid um, is like I've been telling that story all day long, but I've been telling so many of the stories about all of that. Uh, that it's it's been kind of hard to to keep up with, but it's uh, went to the uh, Lorraine Motel, okay. where Martin Luther King was assassinated, uh, which is unreal. If you haven't seen that, like they still got the cars parked out. Yeah, front. It, I mean it, it's one of those things that you, you don't think you're going to have an emotional reaction to it. You think, oh, I'm a grown man with just tours. No, it does. It touches you when you see it. Yeah, and the same thing. Like uh, that was kind of a quiet place, you know. Uh, but then, you know, Graceland was all so cool. Mm-hmm. You go through the house, everything's really cool. But they, they kind of, the end of the tour, they kind of take you outside by the, the grave sites. And just sad to see, you know, of course, Elvis's grave site there. But now Lisa Marie, you know. Oh, yeah. uh, That's since I, I was there. And her son, they've moved her son's grave site. So Lisa Marie and, and her son are right just in front of where Elvis and his parents are. Uh, and you get out there and it just yeah, it's gets... It's kind of odd. It's just off the pool there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right off the pool in the back. And uh, just sad to see that. I mean, Lisa Marie, way too young. Uh, but well, yeah, great week. Had fun. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you got some birthday pictures of me or whatever, yeah, I guess... send them to me. Send them to John for some blackmail. But uh, that brings us to other interests, which will change the subject real quickly. Uh, which is brought to you by Country Tonight. Go check out Country Tonight. Their new show kicked off uh, last month, and they are in full swing now. Don't forget, Celebrity Concert Series this month is the Bellamy Brothers, and I'm hoping I'll talk to Jeff Taylor over there and see if I can get some tickets uh, to those Celebrity Concert Series. But go check them out. Look up their website, countrytonightpf.com, or call them at 453-2003 to uh, book your tickets. First thing we talked about this one earlier, that's a good one. Uh, down in Ray County, down in Dayton, the uh, Strawberry Festival. Now that's something to see. And uh, it's usually when the strawberries are coming in, there are a couple of places along the road, and along 27 between here and there, that on your way home you can stop and get some strawberries. And they're fresh and they're always the best. But yeah, it's a, they, they're set up around their little, uh, their square, their, their you know, old downtown courthouse. And there are a couple of little side streets and, and uh, places for music to play and tons of vendors and tons of food. Uh, if you like festivals, you can't beat that. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a pageant parade, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so they have a parade. It's, uh, that, that sounds like a great time. So go check that out next weekend. 
Uh, and also, not this weekend, but the following weekend is uh, Lake Tansy's Farmer's Market. Yep, that's up there in Crossville on Lake Tansy, and it runs on Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And just remember that central time. And uh, they're not going to charge you to set up, but you have to reserve a spot. So give them a call at 931-788-6282. Yeah, and then here's one we talked about for a while, the uh, Demolition Derby's coming to Crossville. Yep, at the, uh, well, at 1398 Livingston Road, at uh, their track there, or their, uh, well, I guess it's a place for, I guess it's a track. Cumberland County Fair, I guess, uh, I is guess. where it's at. But still, stock youth four cylinders, so they're gonna, they have kids doing that too. Yeah, so that's gonna be cool, fun yeah. for the whole family there. Uh, and then back here in uh, at the Princess Theater, they're continuing their jamboree. Yep, the Room Jamboree, and uh, this month it's or on the 13th, it's Larry Stevenson Band and Audie Blaylock and Redline. Yeah, very cool. Uh, and again, uh, if you have an event or a function, a birthday, uh, a garage sale, no event too big or too small. Uh, you can contact us and we'll John, put it you on the list. John and, will uh, tell you. Yeah, give us an email there at smalltownnetworklive at gmail.com. But as always, the quickest, easiest, and best way of doing it is just directly message us on Facebook. Yeah. And again, uh, don't forget, like and follow our page. Uh, hopefully, we'll see our buddy Howard. Hopefully send he'll... Howard and get well. Yeah, send him a get well. Don't forget our money back guarantee. If you didn't like the show or we messed up anything, hey, you get your money back. You get your money back in Scott's paying you this week. Yeah, this week it comes out of my account, so uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, but again, send us uh, your events, any of your functions that you got going on. We would love to have you. If you got a local business, want to advertise, shoot us the information. Uh, go check out John there. Don't forget to talk to him. Hey, we got a spot open on the corner if you want to start a business, you got some ideas, come see me and we'll see what we can do to make that happen. Yeah, it'll be right across here from Wilk Production Studios uh, down here downtown Rockwood. But yeah, wraps up another week. Uh, hopefully we'll have Howard back, our last Rockwood High School report next week. Uh, so come see us for that. But yeah, so another week here on the Small Town Network. So from everybody here, I'm Scott Wilk. I'm John Evans. Yeah, have a great week, everybody. Be safe. Have a good one.